Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be covering the installation and configuration of Multi-ROM for the HTC One M8. Now this is unofficial and it's just released, so I'll try my best to you know make sure this all runs smoothly. So first off, we'll need to go to the XDA developers uh, post which covers all the links and instructions that we need. I'll have that as the first link down in the description below. So first off you'll need to go download Multi-ROM and the a compatible like modified multi rom recovery in this case I'll be using Captain Throwbacks you can download it right here uh, just select multi rom TWRP and download that once you have that downloaded you need a kernel with the KEXEC hard root patch and I'll be using the Elemental X kernel uh, just go ahead scroll down and download from the post uh, that will be flashed in recovery later but once you have all those files you'll also need to download a fourth fourth file and that contains the ADB and fast boot files that we need make sure you put and then uh, well once you download that uh, extract it and make sure you put all the files together just like this so you have the three zip files and the four ADB and fast boot files so once you have that all you need to do is make sure you have USB debugging on your phone and plug in your phone as well now once your phone is plugged in what you want to do is hold shift and right click and select open command window here this will open up a new command window with the directory already uh, changed and what you want to do is type in adb reboot bootloader and this will start up the adb server if not already started and your device should reboot back into the bootloader now that the computer has detected the phone in fastboot mode what you need to type is now fastboot space flash space recovery and space one more and drag in and well you gotta extract the recovery image first uh, just drag it into the folder and go back to the command prompt and just drag the recovery image onto the command prompt Ooh. make sure you leave a space after recovery and you can just drag the file in uh, press enter and this will flash the recovery to your device now once that's done you need to go to your device and press the power to go back into the hboot menu and then scroll down one and select recovery and this will reboot into the multi-ROM recovery that we've downloaded earlier either the kind of like generic one or captain throwbacks uh, recovery uh, in this case it's captain throwbacks and what you want to do now is, is to select the advanced menu on TWRP and then tap on ADB sideload and now in the one of the checkboxes there make sure you uncheck uh, the last option, inject multi-ROM after installation uh, just uncheck that, hit sideload and now what you want to do is now type in ADB sideload with a space on the end and drag in the elemental X kernel and this will uh, quickly load it onto your device and start flashing now once it does finish uh, loading up the aroma installer you'll see this nice blue elemental X logo and just hit next I agree with terms of use, hit OK now uh, you can leave all these settings uh, as it is if you like or you can adjust them yourselves but I'm going to leave mine pretty much close to stock and with just a few modifications here I do not want the sweep to sleep and leave all those there this is what I've done I'm just checking for any extra options and just hit install elemental x it should install really quickly and just hit finish and don't reboot the system yet we need to sideload another package here but before we do that I'm just going to quickly type in ADB devices just to check that the device has been connected as sideload and next you want to type in ADB sideload leave a space behind again and drag in the multi-run base and hit enter this will sideload it and now we'll install the multi-run base it goes by pretty quickly and now we do not want to reboot the system either but now go back to the main TWRP menu and once you're at the back of the main home screen so to speak all you need to do is go over to settings and then hit the screen and then enable screen timeout uh, just uncheck that this ensures that the screen doesn't freeze because I read on the XDA forum that there was a something wrong if you left it on so best to turn it off and uh, now what you need to do now is to go to advanced multi rom and then add a rom now 
this is when you have a ROM either already on your SD card. I'm not sure if you can sideload it though, but I have already. So you want to go add ROM and then hit next and then zip file. Oh, you can sideload it. Uh, and I have Cyanogen Mode already downloaded on my device. Uh, it's not in the micro SD card, but on the internal. So just locate wh whatever ROM you have downloaded. So install the base first, which is Cyanogen Mode, and I'll show you how to install the Google Apps after. Now that Cyanogen Mode has finished uh, flashing itself, uh, just hit the little back arrow and the back arrow again. Uh, to get to the multi ROM menu. So, next, what you need to do is go to list ROMs, select the ROM you just installed, flash the zip, and then go back to the directory and flash the gaps. Now, this will copy the zip to the temporary file and do all its magic, and we'll flash si or sorry, Google Apps to the Cyanogen Mode OS instead of your know, Sense OS. Now, this flashes quite quickly as well, and as you can see, we're already done. But before we continue, I'd like to show you a separate clip here. Uh, while I was experimenting with it. So if you were to install it and then swap the ROM immediately after and so this is what happens when you boot up and you swapped it so the internal is Cyanogen mode and your second one is Sense and you haven't actually installed the KEXEC hard boot um, kernel there uh, you will need to go back into the recovery and I'll show you how to fix it all up. So now once you're back into your recovery hit advanced and then multi rom and then what you need to select is swap roms and then select the sense one and just hit swipe to swap roms just like that uh, give it a couple minutes so it can swap back over and once it's done swapping over the rom again all you have to go to is now inject cur boot sector not this one the one next to it and swipe to confirm uh, remember to do this before you swap ROMs to Cyanogen Mode or your alternate ROM so you can get back to Sense easily. So make sure Sense is your main one for now when you uh, flash the Cur boot thing. And once you reboot the phone, uh, don't install SuperSU. I'll only ask that because my Sense version doesn't have that, but if it's already rooted, it shouldn't ask this. So just give it a sec to reboot. It does take a little bit. And once it does, uh, you'll see the little red text and you should see the same menu that we had before and I'm going to click cancel and now we have the internal and the Cyanogen mod so theoretically if I were to swap back so Cyanogen mod is the main I could do that and go back to the sense one like without ease, so with ease uh, but now I've made the sense one the default one so it's always going to boot to that unless I specify it to boot into Cyanogen mod which I've just done then. So when the phone is swapping ROMs it does take a little bit but you'll notice that there is no boot animation well apart from that but that's just the bootloader. Uh, usually the screen goes black right after this and it doesn't show like um, I don't know, Cyanogen mode speeding up or whatever it is but it does show a little bit after. Now, uh, this happens so quickly because I've already set it up before when I was messing around with it, but usually you'd have a little bit of a black space there to um, for it to load up necessary files. And to just demonstrate this works, I'll just restart the phone. And if we go back into the same menu, just give it a couple of seconds. Now, when it does restart, uh, you'll bring back to the uh, auto boot page or the multi rom and if you were to leave it you would just boot into the internal but I can manually specify which one I want to boot into and now it's going to boot into the HTC Sense rom uh, you do hear the little chime that it happens at the beginning when the screen is black but then should pop into the HTC one boot screen right afterwards yeah like that so actually the camera picked up before the backlight turned on Anyway, so now we have Sense, and I was just in Cyanogen mode before. As you see, there was no flashing, and it was pretty much really, really easy. And, yep, well, that's about it for this video, but stay tuned for the end. I have, like, a small, small tutorial on swapping ROMs and how that works. So, here it is. So, preferably, you've been the main multi-ROM uh, menu, hit Swap ROMs, and 
this should display the ROM or the other ROMs that are not the primary one. So in this case I've set sense to be the primary one and I have only one alternate ROM, Synergy Mode. So to make that the default one where it auto starts, swipe uh swap this ROM and it should do it for you. So next time you restart your device, it'll always boot into Synergy Mode unless you tell it to boot into Sense. So yep, this is the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a while to make, just over uh, under an hour. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I made it easy for you. Let me know uh, anything in the comments that you'd like to see perhaps or any improvements I can make to further or upcoming tutorials that I may post. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like if this helped you and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see any more of these videos. Yep, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.